We utilize fish to evaluate patients with indeterminate bile duct strictures to help distinguish a malignant from benign stricture. And the unique thing about fish is it allows us to identify malignant cells in a very small sample as compared to conventional cytology. One of the important things again about fish is the ability to detect cancer in a very limited amount of cells. So with the old test or conventional cytology, we often were not able to establish a diagnosis at all or if we could, the disease often had to be a little more advanced in disease state. And now with fish, we can often establish the diagnosis at an earlier stage and be able to provide the appropriate management at an earlier time in their disease course. For us to en enhance the diagnostic sensitivity, we want to acquire enough cells. First of all, we pass the brush into the strictured area and then advance to and fro the brush at least five times to collect as many cells as possible. We also want to avoid the surrounding tissues because if we collect cells from non-strictured areas, that can make it more difficult for our cytopathologist. And we do one other thing that's a little unique. When we would remove the brush from the patient, instead of withdrawing it through the long plastic catheter, and that can result in a loss of cells within the catheter, we simply advance it a couple of centimeters, cut the tip off, place it in preservative, and then immediately send it to the lab for processing and cytologic interpretation. And our studies have shown that each of these steps enhances the diagnostic accuracy. Current available brushes all behave similarly, so we really do not necessarily prefer one over the other. There's research ongoing at this point to try and create better brushes that will collect more cells to enhance the sensitivity, but currently available brushes all behave similarly. For biliary tract malignancy testing, there's basically two options. There's the cytology and fish option, and the test code to order for that would be 84357. And then there's also the option to perform cytology at your own lab and then just send an aliquot of the original specimen to our lab for the fish testing. And that test code is 19701. And the preferred fixative for both is a non-GYN preserves it vial filled with 20 mils of preserves it. Um, you can obtain these through mayomedicallaboratories.com, it's supply T536, or you can call Mayo Lab Inquiry to get these. Upon arrival in the lab, the technologist will review the case, um, determine what testing has been ordered, and then they'll send it to the appropriate areas for testing. If cytology and fish have been ordered, they'll aliquot it evenly between the two areas and send it for testing. If fish only has been ordered, then the entire aliquot goes for fish testing and then after those results come back, it's reviewed by a technologist and a pathologist before sign out. Well, I think this test has really improved patient care. Just simply the ability to provide the, the appropriate management at an earlier point in their disease state is just critical to better outcomes in these patients.